Hey, what is going on out there, gamers? This is Squirrely, and thank you so much for joining me as always. You guys have probably heard the saying that all good things come to an end, because eventually they do. Things don't last forever, and unfortunately, it's also true in the TF2 universe because Marketplace.tf is finally starting to close down fully. Now, I made a video about this a while ago when they first made the announcement, and, you know, respect to Geo for giving us plenty of notice. You could have easily just, you know, turned the lights off and took everyone by surprise, and people would be panicking and freaking out. But when you're dealing with other people's items and real wood money, you got to be smart and you got to be safe about it. So he gave us plenty of notice, but it's finally come past December 15th, it's actually closing now, like closing, closing. So as far as I know, according to the blog post, they're still going to have some very, very limited items on there. We don't know what that's going to be. It could be keys and earbuds. It could just be craft hats and, you know, uh, refined metal. We don't know what these limited items are going to be, but they're no longer tanking new sellers. They're no longer going to be having this giant inventory of, you know, pretty much buying anything and everything you can think of. So in this video, I'm going to tell you guys what I think is going to happen now that Marketplace.tf is finally starting to close its doors, uh, what to prepare for the future, you know, is this good, is this bad, and kind of how to, you know, be a trader in this new world coming up because this website was an absolute go-to. It was pretty much the gold standard for when you're buying or selling anything with cash, and I use this website literally daily for years when I was cashing out a lot of my backpack. So let's take a look at it and say goodbye to Marketplace.tf together. According to the latest blog post from Gio, which is actually released early in the year, uh, around summertime on August 13th, he gave us a great breakdown of what to expect and why it's closing down because no one likes surprises, right? And this is, and this is a good surprise, like a surprise birthday party or something like that. But in general, people do not like surprises, especially when it comes to dealing with their money or you know, their personal items. I mean, a lot of people forget that although TF2 is just hats and war paints and in-game items, things like that, this is real money and this is time and energy and you're dealing with real personal information information and bank accounts so this is no joke you can't just flip a switch and just change your mind right so this was great Gio was not only transparent but he was honest and upfront and he let people know what to expect which is which is huge very very important the post would go on to explain the different stages so on November 1st they actually made it so that you can no longer create buy orders which is something you can also do in the same community market so say there's a key you want to buy it for a cheaper price you put up there and leave it and once it hits that price you will buy it so you can no longer do that then on December 1st, they just disabled all buy orders. So not only can you not create one, but if you had one before, they would disable that. So they're trying to slowly wean people off and prepare them for the change. Then on December 8th, they said that you can no longer uh, add new items. You cannot deposit any new items. They, If you had something up there before, I believe they would leave it up there. But as of December 15th, you can no longer add a new person, add a new seller, add a new item, anything. I believe they're just cutting back on all the inventory they've had in there. And they're just selling it off as they can. Because what might happen which is what happens in real estate. If you're a homeowner per se, or a landlord and someone gets kicked out or they moved and you open up the garage door when you're cleaning it and it's like, oh, they left all this junk in here. It's their stuff, but now it's kind of like in your possession and it's weird and you know, there's certain laws about how long you gotta wait before it's yours, or do you sell it or do an auction? So it's gonna be awkward because if people are leading thousands and thousands of virtual items you know, in on the website, that's a ton of money and you have to figure out what exactly to do with it. So that might be a little bit tricky, but as of now, the seller program has officially closed down and I'm going to show you guys the website a little bit and also tell you what I think you should consider doing because you might be finding some good deals on there possibly. Um, but also they recommend if you guys have any wallet funds on there or a gift card or you're not sure, just double check, go log in, go check out the website one final time before you say goodbye because you might, who knows, you might have items on there you forgot about, you might have money on there, who knows, a gift card someone sent you you didn't even notice. So go check it before you guys sign off for good because you might have some money or some items still left on there. Another reason I think you guys should go check out the site one more time, even if you don't have any money on there or any items, what might end up happening is all the current sellers who are still up there, they list their items, you know, a long time ago. If they don't take them off there, they might start doing fire sales, which is very common with, you know, a company goes out of business or stores closing. They'll do like a fire sale or these giant, you know, 50, 60, 70% off sales because they just want to get rid of everything quickly. They want to liquidate, get rid of their inventory. Now, I'm not sure because I haven't put any new items on here recently. I'm not sure if sellers can technically change their price or they're just stuck there. They're locked. Um, I would assume, you know, Geo to help out would let people change their prices, you know, get rid of whatever they can just to make his life easier and, and sellers can still get some money back, hopefully. Um, but if the money part is already closed then their next chance might just be to take them off so if a bunch of people are, are taking their items back from marketplace we're going to see a flood of new unusuals and hats and taunts and just so many things that have just been sitting there that are now going to be jumping into circulation again 
So I would recommend if you have some extra money sitting around and you want to say thank you to Marketplace.tf, Jill and his team, and also help someone cash out and get an item that you've been wanting, look at them one more time, check out their website because you might find some good deals. There might be some fire sales going on. I can't guarantee it by the time this video comes out. Who knows what's going to be left on the website, uh, but I'm going to open up in a minute and show you as someone who was a seller what it looks like now and how things have been changing. So if we open up marketplace.tf, this is what it looks like right now. You can see the inventory is getting very low, especially for keys. You know, usually there's thousands of keys on there. Now there's under 700. There's usually, you know, five, six, seven golden pans. Now there are only two golden pans. So the price will obviously go up. If I show you one here, you can see the price, you know, a big jump. And also look at the volume. The volume is much, much, much lower than before. You know, 8,000, 9,000, 10, 11, 12,000. And now it's under, you know, three, 4,000 around there. So the volume has gone down a lot. There's only 14 pages left of keys. Well, that, that is crazy. You Usually there's so many keys left. So the price will go up on there. Same thing like I said, golden pan. I'm not sure if refined metal will change too much. Uh, there's a lot of refined metal to burn through still. Um, but I want to show you guys what it looks like if you want to put something on there. So I was a seller on here for a long time. This doesn't go back far enough to show you guys. But I wanted to show you as if uh, I wanted to pause it and an item, just kind of what it shows you. So item. And so it said right here, I tried it. I want to put some stuff on there just to try it out. And uh they close the seller program. This just takes you to the blog. So it is official. I cannot add anything. I can't deposit anything. It's unfortunate. Um, just to show you guys how much I used to use this website. It was such a helpful resource. So this is keys, you know, tons of keys, unusuals, uh, some expensive stuff, some cheap stuff on here. But I have 64 pages of things I used to sell on here. And these are kind of the, the tail end. I don't know if I can jump to a certain page. or something like page 15 or something. Still a bunch of keys. Man, I sold a lot of keys on here. 25. I want to get to... My racks, when I was selling out like a bunch of racks. Page 40, still more keys and stuff. Um, okay, I don't know if I'm going to find it, um, but you get the point on here. I use this website. It was such a great, reliable resource to sell anything and everything you can think of. And like I said, it helped me pay off my student loans for, you know, obtaining my master's degree in science was not cheap at all. If you want to do the math, uh, you can kind of get a picture. Uh, let's just say it's six figures of student loan debt. So this website helped me pay that off as well. It also got me involved, you know, in real life trading and investing in the stock market and all that other good stuff. We can talk about it later. Um, but this website is very close to me. Like I said, I use this so much. I promoted it so much. I'm definitely going to miss it now that it's gone now, but Give it a last chance. Take a look. See if you can sell what you got left on there uh, or see if you can buy something on there to show your support. Uh, but we will miss you, Marketplace.tf. Hopefully you're on to bigger and better things. So real quick, before I close out this video, I know a lot of you are going to be asking, well, now that this is closing, you talked about it so much, you liked it. It was like the best cash trading website. Where do we go? Now that it's closing, where do we go? Are we stuck with TF2 items? And to be honest, I don't know where to go. Now, I know there's other websites that do cash trading. I just personally have not used them. I have not done my research on there. I'm sure there's a couple other websites that are legit and trustworthy, but they just weren't really on the scale of marketplace.tf when I was using it. So I gotta do some of my homework. I know there's other YouTubers that have sponsors and promotional item or promotions uh, where they, you know, talk about other websites and do cash training and giveaways. So I got to look into that. Maybe that's something I can promote later or that I will support. I will definitely let you guys know if I find another website. But what you might do for now is work on building your reputation, you know, which is your rep. Uh, find some really, really trusted cash buyers and sellers through PayPal or whatever it is. Definitely don't trade to anyone who's new to it. Try to find someone who has, you know, years and years and years of buying things for cash. Um, as well as maybe just kind of sell your items for keys and just get ready to anytime, you know, you find a good cash buyer or you find a good website where you can dump your keys on there. Just be ready to go. So it's always good to be liquid. It's always good to have keys or cash on hand. And then later you can figure out what you want to do and make your move. But as of right now, unfortunately, I do not have another website that I can point you to comfortably. I need to do my homework. And if you guys have any recommendations down below in the comments, let me know any websites you've used that you trust that are legit that you can back. Um, and I'll have to do some more homework on my end before I recommend one because I do take it very, very seriously. I, I stand behind whatever I talk about 100%. So that's why it's going to be tough to lose marketplace.tf. But I'm sure there's other ones out there. The doors open for new businesses, new people to step up, which is good. The more competition, the better. Better, but got to be careful. There's a lot of scams out there. So thank you guys for joining me as always, as we say goodbye to marketplace.tf. Once again, if you guys have a chance, you're running to Jill or anyone on his team. Don't forget to say thank you for all their hard work and the services. They will be missed, but hopefully they're on to, you know, bigger and better things with 2021. And don't forget as well, if you guys see me in casual or Uncle Topia to say hi and what's up, it's always fun connecting with you guys and hanging out together, taking screenshots and being chased around the map, being focused is fun too. But uh, have a good one. Stay safe. As well, if you guys are new to the channel, consider subscribing and joining my Steam group, The Squirrely Squad. I'll link you guys down that below for more videos. So take care. See you soon. Peace.
Mission ends in 60 seconds. Medic!